good evening whenever you're watching this video. I know I'm on a YouTube break, but I wanted to kind of keep the channel alive and let you all know that I'm still alive. Um, sorry I haven't done a video or a live about why I'm on a YouTube break, but um, soon, soon. Um, I just kind of wanted to be and I was doing something. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys, but I miss you guys all bunches and, um, I'm very, very tired. My body's going through a lot. And, um, so we're just going to kind of get through this. So this little jar we got a couple of years ago and these people here make the best sweet red pepper jelly. <laughs> it's, it's kind of got a spice to it but like when you add it to like fruit and or um cream cheese and put it with like meat and crackers and um it's super good but it's super good by itself as well so this one there was jelly in here it's not like cowboy candy although it goes really great with cowboy candy um relish but this was a jelly and i just want to save the jar they're great great people and sometimes you don't really want to use the jar. Um, you can reuse it. Just sometimes I'm not keen on. If we didn't can it ourselves, I just don't want to put it in our canner, things like that. And um, of course, there's always like the replacements of lids and whatnot. So I'm just going to use this as it came, as is. And I thought today, um, I did forget my scissors, so because we're going to need these. So I thought today I would show you guys in some ways that I reuse things. Um, so we have this lid and it's about yay wide. <laughs> and I have some stick matches. We have another way that we display, and I, yes, I said display stick matches, but you ever have those drawers or cupboards where like, where did I put this? Where did I put that? Sometimes it's easier, especially with times of the year, to have certain things out or out enough stuck behind something where you, everyone knows where it is and it's easy to use. So um, I'm going to open this right up because all of these are going to go into here. Hey, <laughs> yep, you heard it. They are all going to go into there without dropping them in my lap and on the floor. <laughs> um, normally I would sit here and place these like so all the, they were going one way, but I'm trying to get away from that crazy stuff. So for all you OCD people out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> my aunt Wendy actually taught me years ago to, she's like, oh no, 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 no. If you continue like this, you're gonna drive yourself insane. So she actually went and reorganized my house, took everything out of alphabetical order, started putting things this way and that way to get me out of that habit. And I'm really thankful for that today because I was, I was driving myself crazy. Um, so being this lid fits in here exactly right, I'm gonna be using this and I'm going to be using this to cut up. So I'm gonna first start on this side and these are really really bad scissors they're really bad i think i grabbed my grandson's scissors I have another um orange handled nice pair of scissors and well um, that that just wasn't it so i'm gonna cut the striker parts off on both sides And then I'm gonna get rid of the writing on both sides. So just some of the white is gonna show on each side. Cause the top, this is going to be the top of your jar. And we don't want all that writing on there of directions. And I mean, we, we know all the dangers of playing with matches, I would hope at this stage. At least some of us do, most days. All right, so there's that. 
and then I'm gonna take and do this one. Um, let's see, here to there. And you want a little bit of overhang so it fits in the lid really nice. Um, so you're only gonna need one of these, but always keep the other one in the dry place in a plastic bag or put it on another jar. Maybe you wanna put a small matches and a small matchbook and you need a bigger striker. So always save that. See, oh, yay. So I'm gonna take this and this, and I'm probably gonna cut the corners off a little bit, just so it doesn't, I don't want it real snug, but I want it snug enough. All right, so now it's gonna look like this. And we're gonna place that into there so it's gonna look like that i'm just testing it take it back out stick in one of your strips you can put both of them in there if you would like we might do that actually um let me cut another one and see what that looks like okay yeah, I think we're gonna use both. That'll look cute. And another reason you want these to overhang a little, because when you push them in, they're gonna go up into the lid. That way when you strike your match, it's gonna stay in place. It's not gonna move all over the place. So this is what the top's gonna look like. Um, it's up to you whether you want to cover this afterwards or not, but you just put it on here. Hopefully we can fit it back on with all the crazy stuff. There we go. My, my goodness, it's not fitting back on for me today, of course. Do a video and you get a bunch of crazy stuff. It's because I've got too much overhang. So if that happens, unfortunately, you just gotta try to take it back out or you can go in with the scissors, fold the little flaps down and just cut them out that way. Cause that ended up being a little bit too much overhang and it doesn't want to go back on. Not everything turns out perfect all the time, right? still needs to have a little bit more overhang cut out but as you can see now so you just take it off you grab your match I have lighters around the house I don't use a lot of matches but there are certain times of the year that I do so um. <laughs> and then we can just light the candle here and light another one over here and that's it <laughs> all right so there you have it I only got one lit because it's a little hard minding the camera and doing the stuff that's why I'm taking a break people I, I just can't multitask anymore <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys like this idea. It's simple, a lot of you probably know it. I was in the midst of going through some things that I, I'm cleaning this house out. I mean, I even took off all the cupboard doors of the kitchen, mm -hmm. yeah. So tired of doors and I'm just cleaning things out. So I just wanted to take a moment and show you guys that in case you don't know or in case maybe it's something that grandma or you used to do and don't anymore and maybe forgot about it and it might refresh your memory. You can keep this by the door, you know, if you wanna go outside and light a match and throw it into your um, 
campfire out in the backyard or what have you. Maybe you need to light your grill. Maybe you just have some candles outside or some tiki torches that you want. You can take this outside, it's you know good. Um, as long as you're not putting it upside down into water. Um, if it's raining outside, you can kind of just put it in something and then tip it upside down so the striker um, boards don't get wet. Yeah, so remember at nighttime, there is condensation on everything. So you wanna make sure you keep this protected and don't maybe keep it outside out in the elements. So other than that, that's it. Have a great day.